Namaste and welcome to the Mid-Month Energy Report for November 2023. I'd like to apologize being a few days late. I'm here in England and for the past three days or so, probably longer. Actually, it's been ever since I've been here. <laughs> you can tell by my voice. I've been, I've been sick, so, uh, you know, that kind of chill to the bone, freezing where your teeth are chattering. You know, yeah, that kind of sick. And for me, it's mostly seasonal allergies. The same ones I had in upstate New York with similar weather in the fall and winter. But here we are in November, and I'd like to wish those in the USA a happy Thanksgiving coming up. You know, we can look at what really happened here in the U.S. that led to Thanksgiving being a national holiday. And it's really sad from a an American Indian perspective, but like Christmas or what was previously known as Saturnalia, which was a week long of rape and caroling and debauchery honoring Saturn or in astro theology, Satan. Thanksgiving can also be seen as a time for family and friends to get together and enjoy one another's company. You know, too often, especially for conspiracy theorists like myself, we fixate on the injustices instead of taking a step back and looking at the big picture. And for this month and the next, there's a huge emphasis on family and friends. So tell your family and friends how much you love them and appreciate them. People come and go in and out of our lives. Don't miss that opportunity to express your love to your loved ones. Okay, I'll get off my soapbox. Younger people are like, what the hell's a soapbox? Actually, when I was a, oh God, when I was a kid. When I was a kid, I gotta say it like that. When I was a kid, there used to be what was called the soapbox derby. Do any of you remember that? And you know what? It's still going on. The 86th All-American Soapbox Derby World Championship will be held in Akron, Ohio from July 14th to July 20th, 2024. And what you're looking at right now is some footage from the first Soapbox Derby back in 1934. But I digress. If you do a search for antique soapboxes, you might find something like this. And as you can see in the photo, it would be easy to envision someone standing on it to better be seen and heard by an audience. Hey, Greg, this is the mid-month energy report, right? Uh, yeah. And what are you doing with my soapbox? Something is going on right now. And Allie and I have been witnessing it firsthand. It seems that thoughts are manifesting quicker than ever. I watched a video recently about 369 scripting, where basically you express gratitude and tell the universe what you intend to manifest and feel as though it's already happened. You write down these mantras three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times in the evening. It's the same mantra. You just write it 369 throughout the day. Much of this is based on Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich book and Bob Proctor's book, You Were Born Rich. Surrendering to the universe and using as much emotion as you can will help expedite whatever you wish to manifest. In one of Allie's classes, she told her students about what I'm doing with 369 scripting. And one of her students tried it. And the following day, she received a pay raise and a letter of recognition. Also, shortly after I started doing 369 scripting, money was running a little short, and Allie and I received a $100 donation for our anniversary dinner. I'll be writing an article about this on M5D, and we'll definitely post it here on Patreon if you're interested in learning more about 369 scripting. So yeah, thoughts are manifesting quicker than ever, so be careful where you're placing your thoughts and energy. As for me, 